let us study the new topic from the chapter fluid kinematics we will learn about the continuity equation of fluid the continuity equation of the fluid flow describes the transport of some quantities like liquids or gases the equation explains how a fluid conserves mass in its motion many physical phenomena like energy mass momentum natural quantities and electric charge are conserved using the continuity equation so over here we will be learning that how does a liquid or a gas transports from section 1 to section 2 now over here we are having velocity v1 at section 1 and a1 at section 1 is the area similarly v2 and a2 are the velocity and area respectively at section 2 the continuity equations provide very useful information about the flow of fluids and their behavior during its flow in a pipe or a hose the hose that is a flexible tube whose diameter decreases along its length and has a direct consequence now over here we can see that the diameter is decreasing along its length the volume of water flowing through a hose must be equal to the flow rate on the other end that is if i can say that a1 v1 should be equal to a2 v2 that is the volume of water that is your discharge at both the ends must be equal the continuity equation is applied on tubes pipes rivers ducts with flowing fluid or gases and many more continuity equation can be expressed in an integral form and is applied in the finite region or differential form which is applied at a point let v1 be the average velocity at cross section 1 that is your this section this is your section 1 let rho1 be the density of the fluid at section 1 a1 be the area of pipe at section 1 similarly v2 rho2 and a2 are the velocity density and area respectively at section 2 now i can say the rate of flow at section 1 is equal to velocity at section 1 multiplied by the density at section 1 multiplied by the area at section 1 hence the rate of flow at section 2 will be equal to v2 into rho2 into a2 now according to the law of conservation of mass the rate of flow at section 1 will be equal to the rate of flow at section 2 that means v1 into rho1 into a1 is equal to v2 into rho2 into a2 this equation is applicable to compressible as well as incompressible fluid and this equation is termed as continuity equation in the case of compressible fluids when the density of the fluid remains the same that is rho1 is equal to rho2 the equation becomes v1 into a1 is equal to v2 into a2 and this is the equation i wrote on the previous slide now this can relate that velocity at section 1 multiplied by the area at section 1 is equal to the velocity at section 2 into the area at section 2 and we have already studied that discharge is a into v so the above equation becomes q 
वन मस्ट बी इक्वल टू क्यू टू नाउ लेट एस स्टडी अबाउट द कंटिन्यूटी इक्वेशन इन थ्री डायमेंशन नाउ ओवर इयर वी कैन सी दिस इज माई एक्स एक्सिस दिस इज माई वाई एक्सिस एंड दिस इज माई जेड एक्सिस कंसिडर अ फ्लूड एलिमेंट ऑफ लेंथ डी एक्स डी वाई एंड डी जेड in the direction of x y and z respectively so this is the length of the element dx dy and dz let u v and w are the inlet velocity in x y and z directions respectively so now this u v and w are the inlet velocity mass of the fluid entering the phase abcd per second is the density into the velocity in x direction and the area of abcd similarly like we studied in the previous part density into velocity into area so this becomes rho into u since u over here is the inlet velocity and the area of a b c d is dy into dz this dy into this dz the mass of fluid leaving the phase efgh per second now this is my phase e f g and h now this relates that the fluid is flowing in the x direction which is rho into u into dy dx dz this is the one which we got over here plus tau upon tau x multiplied by rho that is the density into the velocity into the area in x direction now this is from the start till the end therefore the gain of mass in x direction is mass through abcd minus the mass through efgh per second so this becomes this is the mass through abcd and this is the mass through efgh therefore this two gets cancelled and we get minus dou upon dou x multiplied by rho into u dy into dz in x direction so this becomes minus dou upon dou x rho into u into dx dy dz so this is in x direction now similarly for y direction the net gain of mass is minus dou upon dou y rho into v dx dy dz and similarly in the z direction the net gain of the mass is minus dou upon dou z Rho into W, dx, dy, and dz. So this is for y direction, and this is for z direction. Now you can relate this U, V, and W are the initial velocities, and again this x y and z denotes the direction hence the net gain of masses is equal to minus dou upon dou x multiplied by rho u plus dou upon dou y multiplied by rho v plus dou upon dou z multiplied by rho w dx dy and dz since the mass 
is neither created nor destroyed in the fluid element the net increase in mass per unit time in the fluid element must be equal to the rate of increase of mass in the fluid element now this states the law of conservation of energy which we already have studied that is your energy or your mass cannot be created nor be destroyed and hence that must be equal to the rate of increase of mass of the fluid in the element but now the mass of fluid in the element is rho dx dy and dz and its rate of increase with time is dou upon dou t rho into dx into dy into dz or this can be written as dou rho upon dou t dx dy dz now what we can do is we can equate both the expressions so now this becomes minus the same equation of which is written over here minus dou upon dou x rho u plus dou upon dou y rho v plus dou upon dou z rho w dx dy and dz is equal to dou rho upon dou t dx dy dz now what i can do is i can cancel both these terms from both the set that is dx dy dz gets cancelled and now this complete term which is having a negative sense when it goes over here that is on the right hand side it gets the sign gets change so now this dou rho upon dou t now this dou upon dou x rho u plus dou upon dou y rho v plus dou upon dou z rho w is equal to 0 the above equation is the continuity equation in cartesian coordinates in its most general form the above equation is applicable to steady and unsteady flow uniform and non uniform flow and compressible and incompressible fluids for steady flow dou rho upon dou t becomes zero and hence that is no change in the density and hence the equation becomes dou upon dou x rho u plus dou upon dou y rho v plus dou upon dou z rho w is equal to zero if the fluid becomes incompressible then the rho is constant and the above equation becomes dou u upon dou x plus dou v upon dou y plus dou v upon dou z is equal to zero the above equation is the continuity equation in three dimension for two dimensional flow the component w becomes zero so for two dimension this is dou u upon dou x plus dou v upon dou y is equal to zero thank you